man here a moment. Welcome back to my shop. I had to go buy a new, uh, actual new Dremel here. My other one burnt out. What I'm doing is using a disc. I use, use diamond blades, but I'm using a cutter today. And I'm grinding this away down deep in here. So I can either drill or chisel out the hole. This is a really quick way of making a hollow inside your, your bowl. Now, for young people it's better to use a diamond blade because it's safer, it doesn't break off, and you really can't cut yourself too badly with it. With these other ones you could, so use a diamond blade to be more careful. And you just cut in here pretty deep, and then you can either drill, drill out parts of it, or chisel it out, whichever way you prefer. That's how I'm hollowing out my boat today. And here we go. Just cutting this deeper, right? Remember that the straight line will be at the back of the disc in the corner, so you have to start out. Yeah, always remember when you're up coming up to the front to angle up up in like the same shape as you can as the hull so you don't come out to the, the bottom of the hull here. So on this side I angle in like this and cut in deep and then this side I cut, angle like that. Try to stay away from that hull shape <coughs> there. You're just making the boat more um, a lighter version and it's, it feels so much better when you're finished modeling. So basically I've hollowed this all out. I can't Dremel right across too deep there, but it's pretty good. And it's ready for, you know, whatever you want, chiseling or whatever, right? Now if you get a chisel, you'll see. I'll just take a small one for a sec. Whew, a lot of smoke in here, I'm afraid. My medium hammer, and I usually uh, tap it on the side for some reason. But you know, once, oop, it's not tight enough yet. Not tight for chiseling, anyways. As you can see, there. What happens is when you chisel now, you don't want to go too tight. Yet. It'll break off before it ever hits the boat. And you won't have you don't have worries here about going into the deck because there's a gap there and it just comes away really easy. You can even chisel it right up to the end because you dremeled that and see how deep you can get, right? My boat doesn't want to stay, does it? Yeah, just showing you how sometimes I take a drill instead of chiseling all the time. Make sure you go slant to the, the hole here. Instead of chiseling, I just do this. Get it out. As much wood as I can. like this. This can go deep up. As it straightens out I go deeper, right? Now 
And as you can see, when you hammer it out, it just pops out now. Now you're getting a hole, see? Eh, how easy that is. Here it comes, look. So you're getting a hole now, just what you want, right? After drilling two holes, two holes, two holes, I did a single down the middle. I did have a little accident here where a chip came off, which uh, you have these unexpected things that happen. I've glued it in again, and I have a little, little, little center hole drill thing gone through, which I will epoxy in. And now I'm just, after drilling down, chiseling it out, I'm just dremeling, dremeling, blah, 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 dremeling the finished touch on it. So just cleaning up in here with this sandpaper drill, all the little problems. I might want to um, sit on that for a while and see how I feel about it. It's a nice hull, very light, which is when you haul it out is what happens. It gives a much more professional feel to the boat. I don't know, I always do these things sometimes just for fun. This will be, most likely the decking and all that will be a winter project, so we'll see. So there you have it. Another hull ready, <coughs> bit of dust, <coughs> uh, another hull ready um, for making a model out of, uh, hollowed it out and I actually hollowed deeper in the center this time than normal. As you can see I've had my little problems like a chip here and a small pinhole down here which I'll fill with some epoxy fill. Disappointing but I have just like anybody else, these moments where things go a little wrong and you know it's no good getting panicked or throwing the thing away or anything like that, you just do what they do in a ship, they weld the patch in it and fix it up or whatever. So I do the same, so something very small so not to worry, but look at the lovely hollow boat I have, nice and light, make a nice sailing boat. But it was supposed to be, I think, a cruise ship, like a Czechoslovakian one. I um, mostly put the decking on during winter. Uh, there's something to do indoors. So I hope this helps you make your hulls. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.